So why do master locks, speed dial style locks have 7500 plus one possible internal states? Well, we know that inside each of these locks there are four wheels that have a gate and the wheel has to be lined up with the fence. It's like a hammer shaped thing that wants to go into this gate. The fence has to be lined up with the gate on every wheel in order for the shackle to open. Okay, there's 15 slices on these wheels. On top of these gated wheels are what I call cam wheels that have little shapes on there. And these shapes get pushed on, excuse me, by these little posts on this metal plate. It actually sits right here. And if you move to the left, a post hits from this side. If you move to the right, a post hits from this side. If you move up, a post hits from this side. Just talking about the up. The same thing is happening on the on the right down and left wheel. It just rotated that way, right? So, you know, it's fun to put colors on these wheels. And I've done so with these cutaways right here. I've got colors on the top and bottom. And I want to use this paper model and these cutaways to show you why there are seven thousand five hundred and one internal states to these locks. Now there are infinite combinations but those all all the combinations lead back to only seven thousand five hundred and one states. Okay so let me set up my paper here. So what you're looking at is just a model of that, that wheel stack. The cam wheel on the top and the gated wheel on the bottom. Um, and you can see what you see on the paper and what you see in the lock is the same. Right now we are on the reset position, um, which is the plus one states. <laughs> 7,500 plus 1. So, forget the cutaway for now. This is going to be the top wheel. Just think about the top wheel. If we hit up, up, a little post is going to come in here here. Um, if we hit left, a little post is going to come in from this direction. Um, it's going to be right here. Uh, yeah, left. If we hit right, a little post, make sure I'm still lined up on everything. A little post is well. A little post is gonna come in right here. Uh, right. So right away, you can see I've got five colors on this wheel, and along with the colors, there's also a white and a black. So that's 15 slices total. Pretty easy to figure out. And you can think in your head that there's five groups, each of three. It's pretty arbitrary where you want to where you want to keep track, but the important thing is the fence. And the fence is like a hammer shape and it's like right here. And it's trying to go in that gate right here. Fence. Okay, so let's pretend we hit, hit up on the cutaway. I hit up. It looks like the top changed to 
black and yellow in the window. Oh, let's see what we can see in the window. We see black and green on reset. So the window spans from about here to here on the cutaway. This is the window. This is the window on the cutaway, right? You can see these slices of color. So you can see if I hit up, that top in here is going to go to the yellow. Hope that's picking up okay. Simulate that on the paper. That's like a little post coming in here. It pushes on here, which makes the whole wheel turn. Pushes on here, makes the whole wheel turn. And then it comes down off this ramp and exits right here. Boom. So what's happened is we've put that yellow slice in the window which is what we saw. Oops. Put the yellow slice in the window on the top. So this looks kind of complicated but it's really simple. You can enter this wheel from here from here or from here no matter where you enter on these three you always exit here off the ramp so every move you make you the last part is going off this ramp let's look at it some more Okay, so our lock here is on the black and yellow. Let's put it there. So let's say we entered from the left. Well, we entered from the right with a left move. We would bounce off here, come up to the top, and come down off the ramp and come right here. Now watch what happens to where the fence is. It moved from a white to a black, and it just moved one one section. Let's see what happens with another left move. Our post is going to come in, and he is going to exit here. You know, this is also an exit, right? So what happens is the fence on a left move it always moves to the next black in my model. Okay, that's very important. Hitting left makes the top always move to the next black, no matter where it is. Right? If if we were on a color here and we hit left, let's see what happens. We would exit right here. We come to a black. So if we hit up, no matter where we are, that one's going to come here and exit down there. We're going to end on a white. I'm going to hit up again. Come down here. We're on a white. See? I know it was great. Okay. So, if the last move is left, the fence will end up on, what was it? A black. If the last move is up, the fence will end up on a white. By extension, if the last move is right, the fence will end up on a black. The four wheels of the lock are ganged together. Each move affects three wheels. 
And from this relationship, you can see that if your last move is up, these are the three wheels. There's a fourth right now. He's, he's only a ghost because we're not thinking about him. You can see if the move was up, it's going to be white. These other wheels are just rotations of the top wheel. So an up move for the top wheel is like a right move for the left wheel. Does that make sense? So like an up move is like this. So this right move is going to put this wheel into a color slot you know whichever whichever the next color slot the up move is going to put the top one into a white color slot and the right one is going to put I mean the up move is going to put the right one into a black color slot hope that makes sense MH in his paper calls this 0, minus 1, and plus 1. So the last move cements these wheels in these relationships. So how many ways are there to be? There are five ways to be in a colored spot, there are five ways to be in a white spot, there are five ways to be in a black spot. So we can use that knowledge to greatly reduce you know the the space we thought what we thought was 15 to the 3 is wrong. That's not how many states there are. Let's consider the last move. There are five ways to be in each colored state, in, in each of these three possibilities. So that's five. I can draw five. And there are three wheels. All right. And then we have the last wheel. The last wheel, we could have really done anything to him, so he really can be in any of the 15 states. And then, we're only considering the last move up. We could really do it like this, or like this, or like this. So that's four orientations times four. So let's see what that comes out to. I don't have my phone, but trust me, it's 7,500. Okay, so what's the plus one state? The plus one is the reset state. And the, the interesting thing is that reset, everyone is in the same you know, sub slice, the same sub in in MH's terminology, and in my cutaway is the same color or lack thereof. Um, you can see from the relationships of the final move, once you're in the reset state and you enter any input, you can't get back to it, right? Anyway. I hope this made sense to at least someone and help someone. I'll, I'll see y'all later.